My mom passed away in October 2013. I often reminisce about her stories and how she never told me how hard this motherhood thing would be. She made it seem really easy, and her stories range from repainting the walls every week after my older siblings had drawn on them to catching one of my sisters playing with a match in the backyard. During those days, all my mom had to do was give us the look, which translated into, you better behave or you got something coming. And though my siblings always meant well, I think, they couldn't resist the temptation to be a kid they would always get into trouble. Being 20 years younger than my siblings, I often heard stories of how I was as a child. When I got a little older, at the age of three, I would sneak into the kitchen when I visited my sister in New York and eat the homemade meatballs that were cooling in the oven. A summer later, the same sister decided to get me a cat that I named Pumpkin. I love Pumpkin. But one day, being the curious child that I was, I decided to drop him from the banister <laughs> to see if he would land on his feet. <laughs> but in a blink of an eye, I was in trouble for being cruel to the cat. That wasn't my intent. At the age of five, I decided to dress myself and walk into the middle of the street right in front of my house as if I looked good. <laughs> With embarrassment, my father told my mom to hurry up and bring her in the house. He didn't want the neighbors to see how horribly I was dressed and think they couldn't afford to dress me appropriately. Do any of these stories sound familiar, normal, abnormal, easy or challenging? They sounded easy to me, and might I add, very funny. That's until I had my own child. <laughs> Being a mom and raising a four-year-old son who seems older beyond his years in one sense, but in every other way not so much, is really challenging. And although it's a challenging task, I find that the things I once did, or my siblings did, are repeating themselves with him. For one, my son doesn't understand the look my mom gave to us as children. In fact, he laughs at my look with endless knee-slapping gestures until he's at the point of rolling around on the floor hysterically because it's so funny that mommy made funny faces. My child doesn't like to wear a jacket outside in the blistering cold. I have to chase him down and damn near button and zip him up as if he's wearing a straight jacket. It is an unsightly thing, but it works. <laughs> I've learned how to choose my battles, and I can relate to my dad's embarrassment when I decided to dress myself. There's nothing like seeing the expressions on people's faces as they walk by and shake their heads when my son is having a tantrum in the middle of the street while wearing rain boots and corduroy pants in August. <laughs> we have a dog, which my son seems to cherish with cruel love. <laughs> he chases the dog around the house, tries to ride the dog as if he was a horse. He pulls the dog's tail and blinds the dog's eyesight by throwing blankets over his head to watch him squirm around to try to find his way from underneath the blanket. I have to remind my little one to be gentle to the dog as such behaviors are undesirable. But he tells me that it's so much fun, Mommy. These days, the dog has some pretty good hiding places. My son is also a modern-day Picasso who loves to draw his name in alphabet stick figures jumping off of buildings, and other unidentifiable objects all over the walls around my house. He does it with crayons, sometimes washable markers, and he has even used a permanent marker to perfect his skills. <laughs> Every time I look at that stick figure in the den, I say to myself, I'll be damned if I'm going to paint every week like my mom used to do. <laughs> I made a dozen muffins the other day and set them on a countertop to cool. I left his dad in charge while I left to run errands. My simple request for dad, stay off the computer and watch the kid. As I was on my way back from the store, I get a text message with a picture attached. Oh boy. My son had eaten eight and a half of the muffins from the pan he removed from the countertop. He had taken the entire pan upstairs, gotten to bed to watch his favorite show, Pingu, on Netflix and indulge single-handedly in every morsel of muffin that he could get his hands on. As I slowly walked back to the car, thinking about the mess that I would have to come home to, 
I thank God that he ate those muffins, because Lord knows I didn't need them. <laughs> but I also thought about the days when I used to steal freshly baked meatballs from my sister's oven. I guess it all repeats itself, and there's something magical in knowing that my late mom really prepared me for motherhood with her stories. At the end of the day, despite my challenges, I'm truly grateful for her memories that she left. I will always love you, Mommy. Thank <laughs> you.